Hi everyone, it's Nathan Acosta, Communications and Membership Coordinator. I'm here at Mills Park Middle in Lake County with Linda Harold Rudisel, one of yes. our ambassadors. How are you, Linda? I am healthy and happy and happy to be here at Mills Park. What are today's teachers learning at the training session? They are the uh, being trained by a Spark Trainer for in-school prevention of obesity and disease. And they are learning activities which focus on uh, of course, student fitness, and they'll have a wide variety of activities that kids really enjoy, and all the teachers here today are participating, laughing, they're having fun, but the ultimate benefactor of all of this will be the children. And these uh, children, that are, this affects not only the most athletic children, this also addresses the children who need a little bit more assistance. That's right. Enjoying physical activity or engage, being more engaged. It creates a more fun but also more active physical. More active physical education. Instead of students being one ball and 20 students in line, it keeps students engaged most of, for most of their physical education class time. So today's teachers, um, in addition to gaining those skills, they also get a free NCA for membership. They do, I know yes. you've been a longtime member of NCA for what are some of the benefits of being involved with the organization? Well, our NC AFRID is the largest AFRID professional organization in the United it's States. One of the largest, number yeah, three. Number three. We're one of the largest, and um, they, besides giving a free membership for this, we have the newsletter, which lets uh, all of the members know anything that's coming up, especially any trainings like fall pelt. Um, Which is September 23rd, 25th, yes. you can register now. Yes, if you want to register our convention, which will be in Winston-Salem, November. 11th through 13th. And then our Southern District of 13 States Convention, which will be in Greensboro. February 17th through 19th. I'm glad you remember all of those <laughs> dates. And we just have so many um, different workshops going on at the conferences, which um, teachers learn new activities, new methods. They're able to get CEUs for renewal credit. Um, and as a member, you're eligible to attend. So we basically kind of waive the $30 entrance fee that you have to pay before you could register for the professional workshops and conventions. Yes. And you can actually maintain your free membership by you're going to get a sheet of yes. training session, and it tells you what, basically, complete your fitness testing. And then you can uh, receive a renewal, and then as long as you do fitness testing and turn it in, you can be renewed to the end of your career, I guess. And But there are so many other things. The fellowship that we have, I have made so many friends across the uh, state of North Carolina that I'm forward to seeing the conventions and as registration chairman I have uh, really become involved we just find teachers who want to volunteer and want to be involved and remember that North Carolina uh, apron is for athletics health physical education recreation dance and of course our student majors and we try to involve student majors we also provide scholarships and grants and grants okay. yes another thing we do is advocacy work tirelessly at the state le legislature to help pass two court bills, uh, fitness testing in schools, we're about to be a day in fitness testing. The State Board of Education is currently uh, in developing protocol for that. Uh, yes. And then on the high school level, uh, honors course bill, provide honors courses in healthful living classes to yes. help prepare our competitive economy and you know, really elevate the importance of healthful living. Yes, and forward. they're also advocating for advocating for required minutes in elementary physical education and in middle school physical education. Um, there's so much advocacy going on and it, it helps with job security for physical education teachers and it just really helps us to see that we are the first line of defense in one of the major problems occurring now and that is childhood obesity which we believe is preventable and that Students have to be taught how to be healthy and they need to engage in activities which are non competitive. And these are not the fitness testing, is not. Parents will receive, um, we are going to track the fitness of the children, the youth in school, and parents will receive a fitness ground and students will. 
Excellent. Um, quick thing. Can you tell me a little bit about Busy Izzy and maybe parent involvement or, you know, how can you educate your program? Yes, the physical education teachers will have the opportunity to nominate two students a semester uh, for the Busy Izzy program uh, award. And they, if the student um, is selected, they will receive a shirt, a busy is a shirt, a certificate, and a rental notification. We should also educate the parent. Congratulate yes. the parent on the child's hard work over the year. Yes. Also educates them on the program. And something else the physical education teachers can do is download what parents, what the community need to know about childhood obesity and they can use these uh, PowerPoints at PTO, PTA programs. They can take it out in the community to uh, Rotary, Kiwanis, Pilot, uh, clubs, to all the different groups to really help to raise uh, awareness, number one, and number two, possibly some help funding for some of the equipment that is needed. Because sure. we don't need a program which is one ball or one jump rope or one this or that. Absolutely. We need lots of equipment for the students. Absolutely. Well, well Linda, you're just full of ideas. I think we should probably head back and watch the dance training session. So thanks for your time today. I appreciate and it. And thank you so much, Nathan. Yeah, I appreciate it.